Miss Callen here. We're going to do salt painted snowflakes today. And the salt painting works because the salt absorbs the water through a chemical reaction. Salt is hygroscopic, which means that it absorbs both liquid water and water vapor from the air. That's why sometimes your salt in your salt shaker gets kind of clumpy. And because of the positive charges of the salt chemical components, it attracts water, which has a negative charge. So just a little science there for you. I hope you enjoy this project. So let's learn a little bit about snowflakes if we're going to paint them. Snow is ice that falls from clouds. Snow falls when the air is very cold. Snowflakes form high inside a cloud where they start as tiny ice crystals. The ice crystals grow bigger and heavier and then they fall through the cloud. The ice crystals smash into each other and when they stick together, they form bigger snowflakes. Most snowflakes have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they come in many shapes. This snowflake has thin branches and looks a little bit like a star. This snowflake has thick branches. And this snowflake has almost no branches at all, but it still has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. These snowflakes are actually a jumble of ice crystals. Each snowflake is just a little bit different from all the rest. Sometimes you get big fluffy snowflakes and sometimes it's smaller and light and powdery. And that's a little bit about snowflakes. So for the art project for today's art science, you're going to want some kind of tray or something with edges. It could be an old box lid, anything to catch the salt after we sprinkle it. You're going to start with the paper with the snowflake template on it, and then you can also use the plain paper I sent uh, to do some more. You probably have clear glue because that's what I had. It does not matter clear or white. Um, in a container. You have some magenta paint and some turquoise paint and a paintbrush. From home you're going to want some paper toweling to dab and a little dish of water so that you can rinse your brush between colors. And then you also have a little tub of salt that we're going to sprinkle. Step one is to cover each of the snowflake shapes with a line of glue. This will take us a little while, but you're going to cover all of the lines. If you come off the line, no worries, but you don't want to touch your tip. You can see I'm kind of holding it up a little bit. You don't want your tip to touch the paper because you want the glue to be a bump of glue, a raised line. That's what your salt will stick to when we sprinkle salt. And if you want to leave out an accent, you can leave out an accent. So you're going to keep squeezing the glue onto your page until all of the lines are covered with glue. So now we've covered all of the lines and the dots with glue. Don't worry if some of your lines sort of got blobby. It'll still look great once we're done. So kind of hold on to a corner of your paper and take your salt and Sprinkle your salt all over the top of your glue. And 
make sure you get every bit covered. Then what we're gonna do is tilt our tray. We may have to tilt our paper a little more. <laughs> and just sort of take all the salt that's not stuck to the glue onto the tray. And you can save all of that salt for another use. You aren't gonna wanna use it for food anymore because we got it a little bit dirty, but you could use it to do more salt painting. You could use it mixed with a little soap to make a scrub, something like that. Okay, now the best part of this is we don't have to wait for this to dry to do the next step. So the next step is going to be to open up your watercolor paints. Now, if you get your salt too wet, your salt will dissolve and this won't work. So you just want to get the very tip of the brush wet with paint and then touch it to your salt. And just keep doing that. And it's kind of fun if you watch carefully as you touch the salt you can see the paint sort of zoom into the salt. And then if you wanna switch colors, rinse it and kind of dry it off a little bit. You can switch to blue and do a little blue. You also wanna be careful not to smoosh your salt like I just did with your paintbrush. Touch it just ever so gently. And again, keep working until you've filled your whole page with color. Or if you like just sparkly white salt, you can leave it unpainted as well. So if you want a lighter color, you can add a little water to your paint. Or if you'd like to make purple, you can use a separate container to mix a little of the pink and blue together and make a purple for your snowflake. Also, you'll notice where I put the pink and the blue on the different arms of this snowflake, it kind of came together in the middle as purple. So that's kind of cool as well. Once you're all finished, just set it aside somewhere to dry. It takes a while. And uh, when it is done, you can hang it up, but just be careful not to accidentally knock the salt off the paper. I hope you enjoyed this project.